Hi guys, welcome back to another shop update. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you actually how to run the CNC machine because I've shown a lot about the machine but never actually how to set it up and run it. And I think it'd be cool for some of you to see how easy that is and what's all involved in getting that to work. We got Josh and Everett working here today and Josh has finished up this one already. So that doesn't have the finish on, but he got this one done this morning. They're going together really nice. Everett has been just putting them here. And you can see we've got another couple down there. That's what Everett is working on, prepping them for Josh. Yeah, it's kind of hot smoothie. And it was just a matter of what? Just a matter of getting a handle on things or just learn? We improve processes though. Yeah, it's fixing things on the machine and then just, I don't know, getting used to the parts. Mm -hmm. um, kind of the more you understand it, the, the easier it is to fix problems on it, so. Right. Oh, you got a joke for us, right? Oh yeah. Um, so why do, how do pirates know that they're pirates? I don't know. They think, therefore they are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you like when no. I with the boxes and yeah, it all connects. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to uh, run this thing from start to finish. We've been cutting these boxes board by board. So I already have this board done. Now I need to do this board. So that's gonna run right here. Okay, so let's turn this thing on. First thing we do, turn on this control box. This is uh, what sends all the uh, code to the machine from the computer. This thing has uh, just timed out or whatever because you have to have this box turned on before you open this program. So we'll go here, we'll open the S3 CNC. So this is our basic control board here. So we're gonna hit enable. So now at this point, the machine is live. So all of these cables running to the machine motors, there's a motor here, there's a motor there. There's a couple motors back here. All of those are live now. So at this point, if I put my hand over here and manipulate these keys, then the machine's gonna move wherever I tell it to. So right now the machine doesn't know, the control board doesn't know where this spindle is because uh, I, everything was shut down and it lost, lost track of where the calibration was. So I'll just move it close to home right now. The way that it figures out where this thing is, is when these things get tripped. So when the machine lifts that and you hear that click, then it knows how high the spindle is. It knows how to calibrate where this the, the bit is. And the same thing goes for the travel this way, the X, and the Y travel when this thing gets flipped, okay? So now I'll just get it close and then I'm just gonna hit home all. And you'll see it trip those flags. So now this way it calibrates and it knows exactly where everything is gonna be based off of. So this way, the machine doesn't run off its axis and doesn't crash into the end of the rails and it knows where all the tools are back there and it knows where the boards are gonna be. So with that all done, now what I need to do is load a program. So I'm gonna hop into the computer here and this is the Fusion 360 software. We're gonna go down to the Bacote board and I'm gonna select all the operations for that board and I'm gonna do post-process. I'm gonna call it uh, 26B for Bacote and I'm gonna save it to an SD card mounted in the computer right here. So then I'll take that, load it into the machine, load it into the computer. And I'll pull it up on here. File 26B, this is loaded in. And so now it's all set up. It's, it's calculated the toolpath, it's ready to go. 
Okay, I'm also gonna turn the feed rate down to 75% because I don't wanna overclock the machine and ruin anything. So we just run it 75% just to be safe. Um, okay, so now I just gotta cut a board and put it on this pallet here, and then we'll be ready to go there. Okay, so I have the board cut, so I'm gonna move this machine out of the way. Okay, so up here is the vacuum table. So you can see this pipe coming in, that's where the vacuum gets pulled. And if we have this plug here, then it stops the vacuum from sucking up out the top. So we'll put those in every single one except for the board we're running, which is this one right here. And we're just gonna put this over the top, this seal. That'll seal it all off. So now the vacuum's only gonna be pulling on this board and none of the other boards that are not here right now. And this is the little pump that uh, draws the vacuum. So when I flick this on, now this board is not coming up. It's on there super tight and it holds everything down flat and it works really well. All right, so uh, now all I have to do is press start and um, the start button is actually hidden by this little sticker I put on here that says spindle because before you press start, you wanna make sure that the spindle is on, just like that. And you wanna make sure that the air is hooked up because this spindle is cooled by a little bit of air from the compressor. So you gotta make sure that this is on and then we're all set to press start. And this is gonna change the tool. All right, so the program's done. This whole thing is cut. And with the vacuum turned off, we can pick it right off of there. You can see we're thin enough that we can actually see through here, but it's also thick enough so that the vacuum doesn't pull right through. And uh, now I'll just set this here. And Everett's gonna be able to just take this and break off the pieces that he needs. Right like that. Gonna use it to uh, put together some more boxes. So, I think that kind of gave you an overview of just kind of the day-to-day -day how this thing runs. Um, and I could go through the control a lot more. You know, you can control the spindle speed manually. I always just control it with Fusion. If you guys have any comments or anything you want to see more of, you can let me know. Everett's about to drill. So two boxes down, Josh. How many are we gonna get done today? Three. Three? <laughs> uh, we can probably get four. <laughs>